Hey, what's up guys? Henry the Blazer here and today we are going to be taking a look at this weekly challenge reward Ruby Bruce Bowen. Now, I'm a week late on this video. I've had the card for a while now and I wanted to test it out for a bit before I gave you guys a review on it, talked about it, talked about the next weekly reward which you guys will take a look at just in a second. But before we get into this video, this video is sponsored by absolutely no one. I, I don't even know why I said that. I just got super hyped in, in the moment and uh, okay, yeah, that's an L. Let's get back into the video ah! all right so yeah guys before we do get into this video take a look right here you can see that amethyst kenyan martin is going to be the next weekly challenge reward so make sure you guys are doing your weeklies every weekly reward has been fire so far including this ruby bruce bowen which we're just going to take a look at right now so yeah you can see here we got ruby bruce bowen 89 overall small forward with a 400 salary cap i would definitely say he is a must have on teams and i'm going to explain at the end of this video why we're going to take a look at his stats first his shooting proficiencies badges things like that as the usual you see that he's six seven very good height for a small forward nine 93 offensive overall, 88 defensive overall, and 220 pound man. Bruce Bowen, he's not a very well known card, which is why I do not think people are going to be hyped on putting this man on your team. Since, for whatever reason, this year everyone's all about the hype cards. This card is definitely a sleeper, maybe not even a sleeper. I haven't really seen him much online, but I definitely recommend everyone uses him on your team. Number one, it's free. Number two, he's an absolute beast. Here you can take a look at EC. He has a decent driving layup, a nice standing layup, some post fadeaway game for some reason that I've never used. Uh, an above average draw foul, but nothing really that special out of 79. He's got a nice mid-range, an absolute dagger of a three, which is why most of you will have him on your team because you are all three-point lovers and cheesers out there. And there's also a nice free throw at an 85, which actually hits. I've noticed that I'm hitting more free throws now. There are times where I will not hit a single free throw in a game, shooting 96% for whatever reason, because 2K, you guys got your own issues. He cannot speed boost. He does have a 76 ball control. It can only go up to a max of 85 with a shoe, and you need 86 to speed boost, so he cannot do that. Do not run this guy at point guard. Obviously, his passing is not the greatest. His rebounding is not the greatest, but he can hold his own at the four sometimes. He has very good lateral quickness. This is where he's excelling at defense. Defense is the name of the game this year in 2K, guys. I am telling you, 97 overall lateral quickness, 88 pass reception, 62 block is average, 91 shot contest, really good, 61 steal. You guys shouldn't be reaching anyways. The reaching is broken in this game. You reach once, it's going to be a foul almost every single time. 95 defensive consistency, 97 on ball, 95 pick and roll, 95 help, decent low post of a 70, so he can defend if he plays the four okay nothing spectacular when he does go to the basket he's not exactly a dunking specialist he's got a 70 driving dunk so don't expect to be windmill catching bodies with this card like he would be with jason richardson or rex chapman or someone like that where he does lack a little bit that i wish he was better is the speed now this card he reminds me a lot of clay thompson if you guys have seen the stats he can shoot he has the driving layup he has really good defense but he does not have the speed this card is literally a mini clay thompson if someone put the name Clay Thompson on this card with the exact same stats, attributes, even if he still had Bruce Bones release and everything, this card would be on everybody's lineup. But since his name's not Clay Thompson and it's Bruce Bowen, he is not on everyone's lineup. Again, a hidden gem. Now we continue to go down the stats, everything else is pretty above average with a really nice 98 offensive consistency. 92 reaction time, really good. 90 hands is always really good for catching the ball before you shoot. Anyways. You guys have seen by the stats here, he's a really good 3 and D player basically. Really good defense, an absolute sharp shooter, and can go to the basket occasionally. Nothing to excel on when going to the basket consistently. So for you ISO driving cheesers, this is not the player for you. And also, I hate you guys for ISO cheesing. Anyways, take a look at the system proficiencies here. He's got a 95 balance, 95 perimeter centric, which are the two he excels in. I run him with balance. But he also is good with grit and grind and the defense one as well. Now when we go take a look at his badges, you guys can see he comes with chase down artist, pick pocket, pick dodger, charge card, corner specialist, deep range Jedi, catch and shoot, and defensive stopper, all gold. Those two right there at the bottom, or these three we're looking at right here are the most important ones. Deep range Jedi with catch and shoot, gold, and defensive stopper, and corner specialist. And look at that, he's meant to dodge all the picks, he's meant to steal, he somehow has pick pocket for someone with a 61 steal, but I'll take it card is an absolute gem comes with defensive anger expressive championship dna and spark plug one thing i really do recommend you guys run him off the bench because of that spark plug i realize he plays way way better with coming off the bench having spark plug 
Who knew spark plug actually had an effect off the bench, but turns out it does make big plays, energize teammates off the bench. Really, really nice. But now that you guys have seen the badges, you've seen the proficiencies, you've seen the stats, you've seen my sponsors that I don't have, you've seen Amethyst Kenyon Martin, we're gonna go ahead, hop into freestyle, take a look at his release, Hot Zones, animation. Alright, so as you can see here, we're just about to sub in the man Bruce Bowen. Now, before we get into this video, for those of you that did watch my previous video, the system proficiency video, you guys see that he has a 98 open 3 with my system proficiency. And for those of you that haven't seen my video, go check it out! What are you doing? But don't do that yet, finish this video, go check out that video, and then go check out my other videos because they are absolute fire. But anyways, we have just subbed in Bruce Bowen now. We're going to go ahead and turn on his hot zones. And as you can see, hot zones around the three, nothing else. But what's nice is that I don't see any cold zones either. I will take an empty, empty blank court looking like glass over an ice hockey rink. But I will also take this lava around the edges. I don't know why I'm referencing them like that. That just sounds stupid. But you guys can see this guy, an absolute sharpshooter. Card has a really nice release. It's not the fastest, but it's a really nice catch and shoot release. And it's a release that you can't really mess up in tough situations. As you can see, very, very re easy release to green. Like I said, he plays exactly like Clay Thompson. Only difference is, I think Clay Thompson's release might be just slightly faster. But this card plays like an absolute gem. Really, really good 3 and D player. From the corner, he's, he's never going to miss. You can see that he's green lighting almost every single jump shot. This card is a gem. An absolute gem. Look at this jump shot. Really, really nice. As far as dribbles, he has only has a 76 ball control. So it's nothing too crazy. And he has no crazy dunk animations going to the basket either. It's really, really basic. Again, he only has a 70 driving dunk and a 30 contact dunk. Now, th things I do recommend you guys run with this player is that, yes, he plays the small forward, but he also plays the shooting guard very well. He does come off the bench for me right now, but he's off the bench bench. He's kind of like a reserve for when I need a shooting defender. He's a, he is a must-have on your lineup. He makes big, big differences on defense. His defense, honestly, is really, really good. That is one thing I do really like about this card. He is good for clamping anyone you need clamped on the court. He's like a Ron Artest with a splash jumper, but a little bit of less speed. Shoes that I do recommend you put on this card are definitely a speed shoe. Something that's got speed or driving layup oriented. His driving layup is like an 86 I believe we saw in check, but it doesn't hurt to make that one any better if you want to go to the basket more. But one I definitely recommend is like a speed or acceleration type shoe. That helps him with getting around screens faster and everything like that. Especially when you guys are running a play, you want him to get to a spot really quick so the defense doesn't react quick enough. That is what would make this card an absolute demigod in my opinion. But guys, if you guys have been grinding your weekly challenges, I hope you guys are or did enjoy having your Bruce Bowen, whether you have him on your lineup or not. For those of you that don't have it, keep grinding the weeklies. All you gotta do is put in a little bit of time once a week. Dedicate your Friday, not your Friday night. Dedicate your Saturday morning to finishing your weekly challenges really quick. Take you like an hour to finish them all off really fast and boom, you're gonna be having demigods soon enough. We're gonna have a Kenyon Martin and you guys know I'm gonna be bringing you some Kenyon Martin gameplay and a review. Now I was gonna do a gameplay with this Bruce Bowen but I decided to review him instead. One, he's not really a main offensive focus. He's not someone I'm gonna do a gameplay of me dropping like 50 on because this Bruce Bowen isn't meant to be a star. He's meant to be a role player. He's meant to be there for defense and he's meant to be there to hit the threes. Now as much as I wanna do a gameplay of me defending a bunch of players that's going to be hella boring and i'm trying to bring better content for you guys so that's why i did not do a gameplay for this card but if you the majority of people really really want me to let me know down in the comment section below and i will make a video now for those of you that did make it to the end of this video i want you to comment down below bowman so i know that you guys did watch up until this point i do want to make a defensive settings video for you guys you guys recommended it a lot for my last video let me know down in the comment section below if you would still like me to do that but anyways guys if you did enjoy the video you know you've got to hit that like button and for you new viewers you got to hit that subscribe button and join the blazing nation thanks for watching guys and as always take care